I'd start off using some butter, buttering my pot up. I already have some meat that is uh, chicken that is already prepared when you're doing this. <clears throat> you want to season, uh, season your meat to your satisfaction. So make sure that uh, your chicken is seasoned to your specific take, uh, specifications. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in along with the butter that I had put in. The butter is uh, good for just uh, greasing your, your pot. Move that around there, get good coverage. I'm going to scoop that in. What you want to do is keep on moving it around. The idea is to get your uh, meat as close as the well done as possible. Shouldn't take this long for this process to go through. While your meat is cooking, you can multitask and do a, a, a couple of things at the time. At this time, you can uh, cut your uh, your bell pepper. I like bell pepper. I kind of like mine in uh, bigger chunks. I don't like them diced uh, where you can't uh, really taste them. So I kind of kind of like where I can taste the bell peppers. This is what your meat, your chicken should look like uh, before you, you, uh, you move on there. It's not all the way done as you can see, but you're going to be adding more stuff so it doesn't have to be completely done. And right about now at this time, we'll throw our bell peppers in there. Stir those around too. To save a lot of time for you, you can get a bag. Of, you can get a bag of carrots and peas. Uh, just a little quick bag of carrots and peas makes the process go a little bit quicker. So we'll open that up right now. And we'll pour that in. I, I do a half a bag. Half a bag like that, like so. Put all that in there. I'm a big, I'm also a big onion guy. So I have some onions that are already pre-chopped. We do a lot of pre-chopping and pre-saving uh, pre food around here, so we'll dump the rest of the onions in there like so. And we'll, we'll let this uh, cook for another, I'd say, three to five minutes. Once, uh, once you can tell, sometimes you don't, you don't want, if you like a little crunch to yours, you don't have to all the way cook the vegetables, but that, if you do it like that, the nine times out of 10, you want to use fresh vegetables, not the frozen vegetables. So if you like a little crunch, you don't have to cook it all the way through. Right now we got about three to five minutes and then that should be ready to go. And then we'll move on to the next step. Let that go for about us. Now, this is a process that uh, people like. Some people like eggs in theirs, and some people don't. Well, I'm one who likes eggs. So if you like eggs, at this this be a time. Your meat is done. Your vegetables are all cooked. Then you go in with the egg. Uh, I kind of like a, a nice, tasty size piece of you know, each bite with the egg, so I use two eggs. So we'll use one. One of my eggs already have broken, so we'll, we'll slip that in there. Not to, it's, uh, it's at idea.
and you kind of just let the let, let the, the heat and eggs uh, eggs cook up. You can uh, just kind of watch it. It's kind of like scrambling eggs or just letting them go. So when you just when you see it bubbling, you know it's idea for you to have a walk. I don't have a walk. Never purchased a walk. So we're doing this kind of right out of the kitchen. You know, just you know, gun gunning it. But if you have a walk, it's good to use a walk. It's Chinese food, so I want you to use a walk. I don't have one, so. But this way it's just as efficient too, and it still comes out the same. Best thing you want to use is a non-stick pot for the food. Something with a Teflon. Uh, you don't want to use metal on the Teflon, so if you use something with a Teflon, you want to have a, uh, a plastic fork or a plastic spoon so you can stir everything up and it won't scratch the bottom of your uh, pot. So, as we can see right now, our eggs are in there. Now another thing is, if you could take note, uh, I kind of moved a step ahead with the uh, with the soy sauce. You might want to put your you might you might want to put your eggs in before the soy sauce, so it could actually cook on the on the base of the bottom of the pan. Kind of like a, a fried egg, how you re regularly would cook uh, some eggs. But in any case, I did. It's still it's still it's going to turn out the same. It's no big difference. Uh, and then when this is done, then we're going to add our rice. So we'll be back in another few seconds. Now what I now what I like to use is a, a rice cooker uh, to cook my rice in because I don't have to really watch it and. I my I won't burn it. Usually I'm not the best at cooking rice, so I got a rice cooker so I don't burn my rice anymore and I don't have to pay too much attention for uh, to it. I can set that on and do that. Our rice was already pre-cooked before we started, so anytime you want to you want to make it so you don't have to wait so long, pre-cook your rice on the side so it's pretty much almost already ready and all you have to do is add the rice. So we'll bring the rice over here. We'll just throw our rice in like so. That's hot. So don't burn yourself. Now, now depending on your family size, uh, is depending how much rice you're going to use. Uh, we have a family of six. So I roughly use three uh, cups, three cups of rice, put it in the cooker, and then have about, you put water in it, and you have about this much water over the, over the rice when, you, when, when, uh, when it's all in the pot. So I try to have that much wa uh, water over the rice so you have enough water to, uh, so the, white, the, the rice can soak it in because you're going to have it's going to expand really really large so now that the rice is in there the only our next step is to stir it all together this is the same pot that the vegetables were cooking in along with the uh, with the uh, with the chicken so you want to kind of get the, the the mixture very consistent get more rice in there and that's like if you had any juice in there the rice is going to suck all that up because that's what rice does it's an exorbitant and it just grabs all that food in there and it's okay and then once you fill you're happy enough with the, the stirring and the mixturing that you have done. You want to go back to your, the good old soy sauce you have right here that you picked up. And then you just, you don't have to be shy with this now. So you can take the top off and really pour it because this is really going to get us all its flavor. So don't be shy. 
I mean, the more soy sauce you, you put in there, the more taste it's going to have as far as uh, that soy sauce, brown rice. And at this point, you hear the crackling, so now it's fried rice. That's, that's how you know you have fried rice going on here. And it's okay if it's, you know, sometimes it's sticking and all that. Tune in with me next time, and uh, we'll do something. We'll do a different meal for you guys. This has been Baron, Senior Greasies, Meals Under 30 Minutes.